On a certain date, Hannah invested $5,000 at X% percent simple interest and a different amount at Y% percent simple interest. What amount did Hannah invest at Y% percent simple interest? So, notice at the start of this question, there are three unknowns. We don't know the value of A, the amount. That's what we're looking for. We don't know X and we don't know Y. So three variables. Typically, you need three equations to find three variables. So we'll just keep that in mind. Statement number one tells us the total amount of interest earned by Hannah's two investments in one year was $900. So the interest she earned on one, that would be 5,000 times X over 100 which we can simplify a bit to 50x. The interest earned on two, the second one was a times y over 100. And so the total interest, what we get is 50x plus a y over 100 equals 900. So that is one equation involving three unknowns. And there's no way to get an answer even if we had two equations with three unknowns, there's no way to get an answer. So this statement by itself is completely insufficient. Statement number two now, by itself, statement number two tells us that Hannah invested the $5,000 at 6% simple interest. So we just know that X equals 6%. Well, just knowing the value of X by itself tells us nothing about Y or A. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Well, now we'll combine the statements. If we combine the statements, then it means that in one, in one year, $5,000 times 6% turns out what that would be is $300. So in other words, $300 is what she earned from interest on the first investment. And so that tells us that $300 plus a y over 100 equals $900. The problem is we still have two variables and we only have one equation relating them. So even when we combine the statements, we still have two unknowns and only one equation, and therefore we are not able to solve even with the combined equation. So together, the information is still insufficient and the answer is E.